Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Nuclear Throne Ultra. We are jumping in again and this time we're going to try out Doctor who seems really interesting. All mutations are upgraded, you get less rads from enemies and you can convert life into rads. Seems pretty interesting, seems like a cool character. I'm going to check what our skin unlocks are as well. Reach level 7 before the labs while using the main path as Doctor and that just says professional self-care so I don't really know what the other one means but anyways Let's jump in as the doctor here and see exactly how this works. Now, how many rads do I get for hurting myself? Okay, I can get a level up instantly. That is always going to be a strategy that I go for. <laughs> Especially considering you get rads, uh, get less rads from uh, thingy, um, from getting kills. Uh, also, as well, it means that health drops will drop more often early on. So I think that's always going to be a strategy that we uh, that we take part in. And I think if we can get anything that increases our healing abilities, like Rabbit's Foot and um, Second Stomach, stuff like that, it's going to be super goddamn useful for us. Um, and in that regard, I'm actually going to take Patience. Um, choose a different mutation right away. Okay, so we do actually get the bonus um, in the text here, by the looks of it. So, any such you take damage, take damage from enemies that you kill. Okay, that's normal. Uh, uh, that's only minus one HP. Um, each kill increases drop rate or weapon reload. Okay, so some of these aren't changed 70%. Is that only up from 65? That's not that much better. Uh, I'm going to go with patience so that I can take a new one straight away. Um, every weapon get has one random mutation. Uh, random mod, should I say. Um, I'm going to health drops give rads. Every 90th rather than every 100th. Okay, that's healing and rads reload weapons. I think that's going to be really good for us. So I'll take that. And we want to be going to the normal path and hit level 7 early. I'll be honest, I'm going to be uh, playing extremely risky for a little while here and basically going to level 1 all the time. Good stuff with that explosive there. And the extra rads for the healing seems like an absolutely immense synergy with this guy. Like, I think that's going to be super goddamn good. Quickly check what this is. Uh, rather stick with my pistol for right now. And then, okay, so... Everything that deals more than four damage to you deals two damage. Uh, d deals two damage less. Everything that deals more than two damage deals one damage less. That's pretty useful. Uh, first hit heals us for two. I think we'll take that. Get some rads there. Okay, this is this seems like a like so far one of my favorite modded characters. Seems really fun and a very very heavy uh, emphasis on risk reward, which as many of you know, I always really really enjoy. So that's nice to see. Okay, let's try and take this guy out first. Very nice. That gives us some healing as well. Get up to, yeah, get up to level 4 there, there you go. I want to be making sure we're getting a level per stage until we can't. Obviously, I know that's not always going to be plausible, but... Wrong direction. The current direction's kind of interesting, but not super good. I'll show off what it does in the next stage if I can. Um, scarier face is 22%, which is only slightly better. Prevents lethal damage and sets health to three above maximum health once per loop. Uh, stronger attraction power. I'm going to go with scarier face still. Your wrong direction basically is like a really, really hard to shoot dual crossbow. It's generally not that good. Um, but if you can aim with it better than I can, then maybe you can find more use with it, more use with it than I can. But generally it's not one, one of the weapons that I do particularly well with. At the minute, I'm pretty happy with just using my pistol here. Now, one thing I'm curious about is it says going on the normal path. Can I still go pizza sewers? Grab some rads there. Good, good. Yeah, I'm liking this a lot. I like the fact that with patience as well, we got to grab our alternate immediately. Good. And yeah, I'm going to try and find pizza sewers wherever it is. I'm not entirely sure where it is to be honest it's always a little bit difficult it might even unfortunately be underneath where the portal spawned oh no it's right here nice i think we can still go pizza sewers it still counts i think uh, we can unlock our golden uh, screwdriver here as well 
Oh, oh no, we did get it this time. Nice, okay. I'm not going to take it, though. I'm just going to unlock it for next time. I like the fact that there's a guaranteed way to unlock that, though. Triple pop gun, certainly something I'll be taking. Good, good. I want something that's going to allow us to heal even more next, really. Okay, there you go. Straight through there. Okay, so unfortunately this isn't normal path. It, it takes you to this area regardless, I think. So, we're going to have to do that on a different run. Which is fine. Kind of makes sense, to be honest. Yeah, this thing absolutely burns through ammo. And also, that guy chases me quite heavily. Oh god, he's... Ah, this fish is getting too close and they've only got explosives. Okay, this this might be the end of me here. Okay, no ammo for this yet. Okay, we did manage to get him somehow there. I didn't even mean to go through here, but it happened. Uh, more chance to heal. Really good stuff. Uh, we're going to go with triple assault rifle. We'll take that. And I think the pop gun's better, to be honest. Okay, the only thing with this setup right now is that ammo is incredibly bad. We need uh, we need a new weapon type ASAP. Yeah, basically I think being at full health as his character is just pointless for the most part. Let me see what weapon we've got here. Bouncer SMG is unfortunately the same ammo again. Really isn't helping. Didn't expect you to be a mimic. It's kind of annoying. Oh, God. Now, yeah, I didn't really mean to come this way, so we are going to be coming across some enemies that are a bit harder than I was anticipating. This thing's so good, but goddamn, it's so ammo hungry. The good thing is the grenade launcher is pretty goddamn good at killing stuff. So we are able to take out enemies reasonably easy with it. It's just there's such a high chance of me killing myself with it. Like, I'll be honest, chances are extremely high, actually. Trying to get all of the ammo and stuff in here. Oh, God, I'm on one HP already. Okay, Splinter Mace. Splinter Mace seems very good for me. A melee weapon that also splinters is very nice. I like that a lot. Look at the splinters sticking in. Oh, we can actually go through here. I wasn't expecting that. Um. Hmm. Enemies don't attack for a couple of seconds at the start of each area. I wonder if that extends the amount of time. Um... Yeah, let's go for that and see if it does extend the amount of time that that's active for with this character. Because that would be pretty useful if that was the case. Check out... Oh, Super Yo-Yo. Yes, please. I'll take that. Oh, yeah, dude. These enemies are asleep for way longer than normal. What the damage? Holy hell, that thing's insane! Oh, my goodness. Now, the question is, oh, did I just destroy that pickup? Like, some health got crunched there. Yeah, I, I seem to be destroying health pickups here and there. Okay, it doesn't work with um, with ammo, though, but you can definitely... Oh, wait, no, is that just, is that just their death animation? That might just be their death animation. I may have been fooled here. That was a little risky, but we got there in the end. I'm a little worried about the Cheshire Cash Cat boss. Sorry, sheepy. Need to remember that I've got this, uh, this brief moment of everything being asleep. That I need to be taking advantage of as much as I can. Ah, oh, bugger. Okay, that wasn't great. Bouncer Plasma Rifle. Okay, not the ideal circumstance to use that under. Oh, dude. 
Bouncer Plasma Rifle isn't doing much for me here. Still gonna take my plasma weapon. Carry on through. Okay. 30% of max HP. Each kill, extra 5%. Some of the bonuses just don't don't really do much. Like 5% extra on some of these, which just isn't good enough for me. I mean it's nice, but as a as a character's power, it's not particularly good. Doom Launcher. Now this this weapon is obscenely strong. Nice. Okay, we managed to kill Cheshire Cat. We're good to go. We are coming from the final areas here. I'm really liking that heal on the first hit thing we got going on here. Okay. Oh, balls. Unfortunately, played that a little bit too close there. Took a bit of damage I shouldn't do. But yeah, first stage we can we can really do very well by just hurting ourselves a ton. I wonder what's the highest level we can get on the first stage. I bet I bet we can get to level three on the first stage if we play things right. It'd be a little tricky and we'd need the right lineup of everything, but I bet it's plausible. Um Hmm. Extra chests. Let's go with that. I don't really take that very often. The extra chests are nice. For like better weapons and stuff. And there's a health chest as well. That's very nice to see actually. There's another level up for us. Good, good. There you go. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm really liking this character right now. Just got to be a little careful about how, how much health I'm willing to give away. Because obviously that could get kind of risky. We will take the pop rifle here. And I'll take this for... Basically, I'm going to keep myself at really low HP in the early game. Basically pretend I'm playing as Melting, who normally starts with 2 HP. And hope that Bloodlust triggers a good bit here, but... Unfortunately, only 7.9%. Not triggering all that often. There you go, we got one trigger of it there. Beautiful. Do you know what? <laughs> okay, self medicate, we got it. I was like, do you know what? What happens if I kill myself? Because I was like, I'm going to see if I can reach level 3 here, but then it didn't work. So let's let's try see what that, that alternate skin is, shall we? Because that's pretty funny. Oh, you get a Plague Doctor skin. Okay, that's pretty cool. I like that a lot. I like that a whole hell of a lot. Beautiful stuff. Uh, do you know what? Realistically, let me, let me restart here. Uh, how do you quick restart? Do you know what? Just kill me. Because I, I should always be hurting myself early to get uh, health drops. Man, this boy is useless. You see this? See how little of a threat these guys are? I want you to kill me. <laughs> oh my god. Uh. There you go. Right. Restart, did not mean to do that. Whoops. Okay. So it's easy to get level 2 straight away, but yeah, basically I'm thinking the, the earlier we hurt ourselves, the more risk we put ourselves in, the more health drops we're likely to get. Oh, come on, we're almost at level 3 on the first stage here. So close. That's so annoying. We're on one HP as well. Don't think there's anything we can do. Damn it. That was so close. I would have loved to have got level three on the first stage. That would have felt amazing. Right. Uh, we still need second stomach. There it is. 
Um, four, sometimes five HP from med kits, double HP from med chests, alkaline saliva, and absorbing. Oh my god, that's insanely strong. So that's that's the sort of upgrades I was thinking about. So we get a lot of HP from all sources here. Oh, we are very, very close to running out of ammo here, I've just realised. Good, good. Take the shotgun. We're not going to get another level up here, so let's just go. I like this. Rhino skin for plus maximum HP is, is pretty interesting here, I think. So the more HP we can hold, the better, right? Is this a shotgun or a shotgun? I think this is a shotgun. No way. Oh, I died to a maggot on that run. Ugh. Okay, we're basically in the fish for second stomach now because it's so goddamn good. It is worthy of our attention. Very much so. You don't get a... A what's it called on this... Uh, I was on this character, a little rad canister each stage. Bah, 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 bah. Yeah, we always want to take it stuff that are healing re related. Blood rifles could be better for us here. At least it's got some range to it. Good. Damn it. It's all going so well before. How do I how do I restart? I guess I could just kill myself to restart. I really want to fish for a good start as this character right now, because I feel like you could just have an absolutely immense start if you play your cards right. Like second stomach is just an absolute like must for this character now that I know how powerful it is. Uh, but it's gonna be something that we don't see too often. Um Puffy Cheeks is pretty decent. Thirty percent fire rate. Oh, yeah, so that's, that's not the fire rate. That's the preemptively loaded shots. I'm thinking of the el the elbows item instead. Come on, enemies, drop me more HP, please. Pop rifle. There you go, we got ourselves level 3 from that hit there. Lovely. And... Take that. Always go down to 2 HP. Like I said, basically play this character in the early stages as if we're melting. Beautiful. Level four. Oh, wait, well, that's not the end of the stage. Who's left? Oh, shit. There's a little area around here that I didn't even know about. Start next stage with two. Okay, this is... This is going well XP-wise. Um... I think we go for this again. Some froggies about. I swear, whenever there's like frogs, there's always a ton of them. Whenever there's crocodiles, there's always a ton of them. Like the sort of layouts for the stages. I know your type. Do not fret. I understand. I will not get near you. Got here, yo yo gun. I'll take that over this. Yo yo gun's pretty good. Okay, lovely. That is it. Nice. It's only level 4 at the minute, didn't get much healing that last stage. We'll go with yo yo gun here. Oh, yes, yo yo gun is amazing. Oh, come on now. I mean, it killed one of the enemies, just not the one I was actually aiming for. 
Ugh. Oh wait, I've got Alkaline Saliva now. I need to make sure to actually get hit once per floor now. Like, on purpose get hit. Mini Plasma Gun. Mini Plasma Gun seems like it could be good. Yeah. Damn it. Not quite enough. Trying to gamble as much as I can here, and it's probably not the best idea. Excuse me, this guy just stole ammo from me. Quite a lot of it, too. That damn cheeky bastard. Dude, this thing's amazing. I always want to be in that sweet spot where we're finding more and more health. Yeah, this thing, this thing just wrecks. It, it does eat through ammo. I'm not underestimating the amount of ammo it requires for this thing to be good. Okay, good. We got this bad boy going. Wonder why this thing even shows up pre-loop. 140% of rads. How does that work? I love the way I get a heal back for that. That's such a good synergy. Okay, there we go. And still no second stomach. That's really unfortunate. More rads from active. That seems super useful, considering we're using that literally all the time at the minute. There's our free hit. Try and take out all the other enemies before we... Engage with the boss. Get out of here, you. I think the mini plasma cannon here is going to do a really good job of taking out the boss. Going to make sure to actually hit my shots. Yeah, he's pretty much dead. Beautiful. Um, and then we got the double director shotgun. Yeah, we'll take that. Beautiful. Beautiful level 7. There you go. We got the bee skin as well. Awesome. Still no second stomach though, but as I said, Rhino skin. Pretty goddamn good as this guy. Um, let's go with Patience and try and get second stomach. God damn it. Whenever you take damage, I wonder if this works with our... Um... Oh, it does. Okay, so th this has become pretty good. We now have ability to, to, to trigger the AoE whenever we want to. Which I think is pretty darn good. We just have to make sure we have the right HP to do it. Also, being at low HP and getting extra fire rate seems very useful. got going on here? Gatling Slugger. I like the idea of a Gatling Slugger. Is Gatling Slugger just so I can hold down fire? Yeah, I think it is. Nice. Okay. Up to level 8. Only thing is, the ability kind of doesn't hold as much weight once you, um, once you get to max rank, right? Oh, dude, this thing's amazing. Very, very amazing. I mean, it's probably going to eat ammo like crazy. But I feel like I've got to keep up with this thing. I'm really liking that I've got a way to just auto-trigger AoE, so I'm going to have to remember that Sharp Stress is also a very good one for this character. Get the reds when I can. Little bit risky it feels, but I'm making my way through here pretty okay. Nice, I don't know what weapon that was there. Super yo yo gun. Take that. I 
Okay, we've got a lot of these guys around. I mean, honestly, these things get absolutely insta-killed by us right now. The damage it does isn't in insanely good, but I imagine earlier on it would be better. And also, it's like, kind of free. Guys, okay. There's a lot of bombs you just threw there. Beautiful. This, this thing's amazing. What weapon we got here? Super crossbow. I will take a super crossbow. Favorite build. Interesting. Okay, through here we go. Ooh, with a super crossbow, this would be pretty good. We didn't get um, anything else we wanted. Although shotgun shoulders would also be very good with our weapon we've got right now. I'm going to gamble and take this instead. I don't often do that, but... I'm thinking, with this thing being so powerful, it could be very, very good. And also the super crossbow is just good anyways. I insta-kill that bad boy. There's our ultra. Oh, I've been put in a bubble. Dude, we're getting so much health here. Toxic ion cannon. I am loving the setup we got going on right now, my god. Okay, ultra. Even better weapon sacrifice uh, weapon specific mutations. That's pretty cool. The shotgun shoulders will get even better. Your active changes into... Uh, your active changes into infest enemies using rads thrown but decreases rad cost. Your active changes into revived corpses into ally freaks thrown but increases the damage they deal. And your projectiles put enemies to sleep for a short moment thrown but... So these two basically make our ability more worthwhile, because otherwise our ability doesn't really do much for us at this point. But I really like the idea of Surgeon, and I'm going to go for it. Now, I wish I could actually see what it was doing for us. It's probably just more bounces and maybe more damage. This is pretty awesome. I'm liking this. He's <laughs> killing stuff so far away from me as well. Flint Seeker. I'm out of ammo on that bad boy. That ain't good. Oh, God. I need to try and use my uh, crossbow a little more to save ammo for when I need it on my shotgun. Like the boss. God. Annihilated. Holy. Absolutely annihilated. Hehehe. <laughs> oh my god. I'm in love with this run right now. Now this thing is falling off a little bit. Some of these enemies in here are very scary. I'm interested to see what the one that lets us create an army is like. Okay. We all good? We are... Okay, that's the inverted, though. I'm gonna... Tr I'm gonna gamble on the inverted. It's scary, but... Plasma queer. Holy shit. Okay, let's use the Plasma Quake for a little bit just to clear out some of the stage. Because it seems goddamn amazing. At least AoE-wise, it's uh, pretty awesome. It also seems to destroy shots pretty quickly too. Okay, we've accidentally kept this now, but I'm reasonably happy with that. Okay, inverted 
Orc Throne, which is very scary, as we've uh, as we've clued into before. We're gonna see how this goes, though. This is why we have a lot of health right now. No! What? No! I, I think I died to the initial explosion because I was grabbing the HP that was up here. That's a real shame. But let's go back to the menu and see what our other skin is. I want to always try and go for the skins wherever we can because I think it's a lot of fun to go for the skins. I really like the sea skin so far though. Yeah, I'm going to have to stick with the sea skin. It's so good. Now, I do remember that we didn't check what the ones for hand were. Um, the purple, uh, the purple dragon, slap the purple dragon to death, kill with active, okay. Um, and sucker punch three IDPD vens into oblivion, kill it with active and throw him butt. Okay, interesting to know. But yeah, really, really like this character. A hell of a lot of fun. Um, we could go with like old man Humphrey next, what's what we gotta do for him. 20 close range dodges using extra feet in one run. That's quite a lot. And reach 1000 skill. What does this guy do again? I don't really know what the skill is referring to. Oh, I've closed down the game by accident. My bad. Let's reboot it real quick. Good old Humphrey. Is, is it going to load in the stream? I, I, I realize you guys have a black screen right now. There you go. Reduce max HP. Dealing damage builds up skill. Skill increases all damage dealt. Skill decreases over time, and when you take damage, stun and shrink costs 5 skill. Hmm, interesting. But anyways, we will leave it there for today's episode, and we'll jump into another one soon, uh, and try and unlock some more stuff. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.